Hello, welcome to the channel and welcome back to Resurrect Autos HQ. Today guys, <clears throat> we're gonna be picking up and working on the Hyundai i30. Yep, it's ready and painted and done and ready to go. So I need to go and collect that this morning. So that's what I'll do first thing. But uh, before we do, what a lovely weekend. Absolutely gorgeous weekend, really, really hot, sunny. Spent it with the family in the garden, just chilling out, relaxing. It was so nice. Um, I hope you all had a nice weekend as well. It wasn't sunny everywhere in the UK, but hope most of us got a bit of sunshine. But yeah, it was lovely. And all the restrictions are all clear now. Government are saying that we can do what we want. Everything's back open. The virus is still around, but we can do what we want. <laughs> so, yeah. It's uh, not the law to wear, wear face mask anymore, but they do advise it. So I will probably continue in wearing the face mask, to be honest with you. Just, you know, just because it's not disappeared. It's not gone, up, gone up anywhere overnight. The virus is still around. So for me personally, I'm gonna continue. But yeah, there we go. Um, what else is going on? Uh, I'm still waiting for parts for this Transit Connect as well. We have started to get some bits, and you can see over there, in that box. That's the new radiator that we've got that Mark picked up um, for that. Still waiting for the condenser to turn up for that. Um, waiting for a load of bits and pieces, load of parts um, that I've ordered. Um, and hopefully over the next couple of days, they'll turn up and we can just get cracking with that, get that finished. This one as well, uh, this Fiesta, I'm waiting for um, <clears throat> some parts on this. So again, that's another car. Um, I'm also looking at other cars this week to buy. Um, at the salvage auction, hopefully can pick one or two up. We'll see. Um, and uh, yeah, just just moving on, just carrying on, guys. And uh, yeah, just loving it. Just enjoying, just enjoying what I'm doing at the minute. I love it. So, um, so that's that. Right. Okay. That's enough waffle, guys. Let's go and get this high on die back from the paint shop. Uh, I'll probably just swap it over. So I'll take this out and then bring the car in. Um, so you can have a look. It's, it's, it's so sunny outside. It's just, it's too, too glary so, <laughs> to, to do any filming out there. Um, I might be able to wash it out there in a little while, but um, I'll bring it in. We can have a look at it, a good look around it, out of the sun, um, and we can have a good look at that paintwork here yeah, that he's done. So, yeah, also I've got to sort of do, you know, other bits and pieces around the car, but when I get the car, I'll come back, we'll talk about it, because um, the tracking needs doing, all needs cleaning, all needs sorting. But um, first of all, let's go and get it, bring it back, and we'll have, we'll have a look at what's going on. So let's do this. So here we go. I'm back from the paint shop. Um, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, as you can see, just normal stuff from the paint shop. Just all dusty and that. But you know what I mean? I didn't ask them to clean it. Um, and it just, it's just what it is. It's just, it's just in that environment, uh, um, a body shop, paint place, just, it just gets, yeah, it just, <laughs> it just gets really dusty and dirty. You know, when they're climbing in and out of the car, it just can't be helped. Uh, so yeah, but uh, I just want to quickly touch on the tracking on this car because, well, as I was driving it back, um, th this is the, <laughs> so driving it straight, this is the position of the wheel um and you can see that it's you know it's just slightly over to the right so we need i need to definitely take this to the track in place to get it done get it all lined up <clears throat> also we don't forget on the front we've got to replace that wheel because of the lines in, in the on the trail i didn't i were not really happy with that so i'm going to get the tire done get the tracking done and then i know that this is uh yeah straight <laughs> it'll try it will, the steering wheel will drive straight as well so that's that's good so i'll go and get that done um and we just need to clean up in here really just need a good clean and uh, the normal stuff bit of resurrect loving um on this interior um we'll do the back as well get it all cleaned up but for the minute let's have a look at this painting this painting is painting you've done the painting so, here we go.
absolutely spot on, guys, isn't it? Like he's got that, he's got that that line absolutely perfect. He's done a really really good good job on that on that corner. And you remember the little bit at the bottom as well. We've done all that. So, yeah. Fair play to him on that one, guys. <laughs> that looks proper decent. So, yeah, I'm well happy with that. Just need to give it a good clean. I hate seeing a dirty car. Uh, so, <clears throat> this will need... It's got... It's, don't get me wrong. It's got little bits and pieces around the car. It's got that little dent there on the bonnet. There's a little dent there. But... You know, over overall, it's 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 in pretty good condition. Um, and I will what I'll do is I'm going to clean it all, and then um, just going to go around it. If if I can, you know, if I can sort these little bits out, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to be able to do anything with that. But uh, I will. I will try my best to get it as best I can, hundred um, percent. But yeah, so that was the first bit of painting on that corner. Um, the other bit was on the back corner, if you remember rightly. There was some damage over here as well. Um, and as you can see, he's, he's done that. He's blown that right in as well. I think, if I remember, yeah, yeah. So basically, he's done the whole back bumper. Yeah, he's, he's done the whole back bumper. So because it was just it was just all marked up and stuff um it had you know bits all over it so i said to him look while you're doing the front can you just and you've got to do this bit anyway so can you just go up there go into the into that quarter panel blow all that in so he blew all that in over there and then he come around and he done the whole back bumper for me because yeah i remember now it was in a state um so yeah I'm happy with that. Fair play to him. Good little job. It's a slight difference in the colour, but it's nothing, you know what I mean? Nothing really to sort of uh, worry about. Um, you're always going to get a little bit of difference when it comes to plastic and metal anyway, so that's what that is there. But, uh, yeah, I'm well happy with that. Just needs a good, good clean. It's just a state. It's an absolute mess. Dusty as hell. But like I said, it's just the body shop. <laughs> right, let's get this car. Um, I'm going to run this car down to the um, alignment place first, tyre shop. Let me go and get that done first, then bring it back. So that's all sorted. Um, and then we'll clean it up, uh, get it all done. You can see that's a shame that I didn't get him to do that really. It's the only thing that lets it down is that. It's the worst thing of the car now. Um, I might see if I can try and, I don't know, polish that, polish that as much as I can, um, rub it down a little bit and then give it a little polish up. But I don't think I'm, gonna hit, I'm not gonna hit none of these, definitely not gonna change that. Um, and then I might see if I've got any, I might, I might get that. I might see if I've got any sort of silver paint that I can just sort of touch that in just, just to take your eye off it. I think that's all that needs, really. But, um, yeah. I should have got him to do this uh, at the same time. My fault. Right, anyway. Let's get this car down to the actual place. Uh, get that done. Get back. And then we're going to get this car sorted, cleaned, and really ready to go up for sale. Because there's nothing else to do on it. It's got MOT. Um, so, Yeah. I'll do that first, guys. Come back to you. And, uh, yeah, let's, let's do this. Right, I'm back. Yep. Um, all lined up. Four-wheel alignment done. And, uh, yeah, drives absolutely straight as a die now. Just drove it back from... I around the corner, but just drove it back. Um, yeah, spot on. So that's that done. So I know that it's dry straight. Um, it's so hot today. Like, crazy. Crazy hot. Just it's one of those days where you just... Shouldn't be working. <laughs> but, needs his must. Got to do it, in ya. Um, right, so, now we can move on to getting this car clean inside and outside. 
everything. I want it all sorted, all sparkling, all nice, ready for sale. So, um, and then um, I'm going to try and work out what to put it up for. Um, so, yeah, I'll look, at, I'll look at what's up for sale on eBay, Auto Trader, uh, the mileage, the year, because it's an auto. So, yeah, I'll have a, I'll have a workout and see what I can I can put up for. But um, let's clean it up first. And then, um, yeah, we'll have a look at it. But uh, I don't really want to take it outside and clean it. To it's so hot, but I'm going to have to. Um, and then I'll bring it in and then we'll I'll dry it up inside and clean it up. And then, yeah, we'll go from there. But let's get her outside. Let's clean it up. And um, let's carry on. Let's carry on. <laughs> but it's so hard to carry on this weather. It really is. But let's do this, guys. <clears throat> So that is a lot, lot better, guys. So I've just brought her into the lockup and just dried it all off, cleaned it all up. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, much, much cleaner, much, much cleaner. I've just got to get a little bit of overspray here. Can you see this overspray here? I just need to get that off there. There was a little bit on the tire on the other side, which I've already done. Um, but yeah, a little bit of overspray. No big deal. <clears throat> it's come out all right, pretty decent. I put a little bit of silver paint on this wing mirror here. Can you see it there? And then yeah, I'll just keep playing with it, rub it down a little bit, polish it, add some more. Just takes just takes the eye off that that black. Um, the, the case is obviously black plastic. And it just takes you a while for that. Uh, but uh, yeah, much, much better. I think there was, there was overspray on this tire where they'd done this back quarter. So I, I cleaned that off as well with a little bit of uh, white spirit and that just come off straight off. But uh, yeah, really, really good. Um, I'm happy with the way it's coming out, so that's good. Still got to do the sticker as well. Resurrect sticker it goes on every car that i do got to do that but uh yeah Apart from that looking good right i'm going to set you up stick you on a tripod i'm going to carry on i want to do the glass inside and out i shall leave the inside for the minute i'll do the outside glass then i'm going to set you up and i'm going to move to the inside of the car um yeah, have a good go, go at all the interior. Um, just see see what I can get done. Yeah. Open these door shuts. Uh, open these doors and get all the door shuts done. Clean up all these door shuts. All the way around. Do the boot. And, uh, yeah, carry on. Get this ready for sale. Need to get this up for sale today. So, that's the plan. Right. I'll set you up, guys. Carry on. And let's do this. Thank you.
Wow, okay, that's done, but that took, <laughs> that took a lot for me to do that because it is absolutely baking in this lockup. Um, yeah, it's really hot, guys, but it needed to be done, so I just cracked on, got it done. As you can see, put the usual Resurrect sticker on the back, you know, it's been fixed by Resurrect HQ. It's all been cleaned, you saw that. So I've done the upholstery, um, done all the door cards, done all the door shuts, done all the seats, done all the carpets, took the mats out, done the mats, you saw that. It looks really, really decent in here now. Spotless. It wasn't dirty, to be fair, to begin with, but yeah, I just wanted to go over it. Um, I still want to sort of spray up the dash with some dashboard shine uh, and that sort of thing. And have I looked in this glove... Oh yeah, no, nothing in there. I think I looked in there for a minute, but no, it's empty. Uh, so yeah, there we go. A little bit of on this mat, I can't get off. Don't know if that's probably bubble gum, something like that. So yeah, a little, few little bits and pieces, but nothing too major. Um, these doors shut really, really nicely. <laughs> Shuts better than my wife's Range Rover Evogue, to be honest with you. So it's really smooth. Um, yeah, but I've never had one of these before, so I don't really know Hyundai. Um, but yeah, all the engine base all cleaned up and all that sort of stuff. This looks like a brand new battery as well. So that's not old at all, brand new. So that's good. Put that on the listing. Um, so yeah, it's all been cleaned up, guys. You can see that. <laughs> looks nice, looks decent. Done all the glass. All round, um, yeah, hell of a lot better, hell of a lot better. So, there you go. So, basically, all we've got to do now is uh, put some tyre shine around the tyres, all four tyres, uh, drive out, take some pictures, and then list it. But um, this one, I'm going to do a little bit different for you guys, because I do get a lot of questions, a lot of, not questions, a lot of people asking uh, why don't I do the numbers? Tell me, tell us what you're, you're paying for them. Tell us what it ta takes it costs to, to, to fix and tell us what you're going to sell it for. Um, so on this one, I'm going to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go off, do some pictures, take some pictures, take some photographs, get it listed. Um, and then I'll go through the numbers with you guys and let you know exactly what it costs to buy, source the parts and the labour um, and then, yeah, hopefully we can work out a price to see what it's worth. And then I'll tell you exactly, um, yeah, what the, um, what the potential profit could be on this car. 
Um, it's always potential because you just never know, um, you know, people knocking you down and, or, you know, you can't sell it for the right amount or the rest of it. So, but yeah, let's do the numbers anyway when I come back um, and let, let me know what you think um, about that. So leave it with me for now. Let me go off and do that, get the, get the pictures done and I'll come back, guys. We'll sit down and we'll go through the numbers on this car. So, yep, let's do this. Right, guys. So I'm back. Um, I've just taken it out, just took some pictures. Uh, I'll be listing it today, this afternoon. But before I do, uh, I just want to run through the numbers with you. I don't normally do this. It's definitely sort of, uh, yeah, a little bit out of my comfort zone in a minute because obviously <laughs> talking about figures and stuff, it's just not what I do. Um, but I thought, you know, uh, you might be interested. You probably are. Uh, and I thought, Let's just try it. Let's give it a go. Let's see what response I get from it. Uh, and I, I would appreciate a comment. J just let me know what you think about me doing this kind of thing. Um, I know some other YouTube channels, they do it. And I don't really like, you know, I'm, I'm completely honest with everything that I do. That's why I show a lot more, a hell of a lot more than what most channels show. I show everything everything I show um, but you know I thought let's just try let's just have a go let's just see what response I get from it um, hold on it's so hot Right, <laughs> got my pad, so let's do this. Right, so I bought the car, <clears throat> including fees, for £1,780.60p. And then <clears throat> there was the cost of the trailer, which you know I've told you many times, it's £35 for the day. Um, and I roughly put about £10 of fuel um, to go and get it and bring it. Well, I have to go and get the trailer, and then pick the trailer up, then drive to the, the uh, place to pick up the car, <clears throat> and then drive it back to here, the lock up. Then I have to drive the trailer back to where I pick it up from, and then dr and drive back. So, you know, it, I roughly, you know, say about a £10 per per vehicle picked up for the trailer. If I could pick up two cars in one day, then obviously it, it, it brings it down a little bit. But on this particular occasion, it was just a one car. So I've got to allow for that. So that's 45 pound for the trailer and the fuel. Um, so that's that done. Very first thing we had to do is sort out the suspension and get it on the road, get it running, get it, get it moving around basically. So the lower wishbone, uh, on this one was 20 pound uh, the tie rod end was 20 pound and that was enough to get it moving so once we've done that uh, I can move the car around so that's that done um, then we moved on to uh, doing the rear brake pads and discs so the rear brake pads were 20 pound and the rear discs was £40 for the pair. So that's that. Um, and then obviously I've done a little bit of filler. filler. I had filler um, for the wing um, anyway, so didn't really sort of allow for that. Um, and then had the painting done. Because, well, it be honest with this, this didn't really take a, a long. I've, I've allowed 18 hours in labour to get this car. That's what I've spent, 18 hours in total, uh, which is, I think, proper proper punchy for, for, the, for the hours I've put in really um, that's a little bit punchy when it comes to the hours I, I don't know if that's too high but it could be um, so that was that uh, the paint at the paint shop that was £300 so that's obviously the most inexpensive part of it was getting it painted um, so but it's worth it I think 300 quid. I think it's definitely worth the money They've done a smashing job on it. It looks amazing. It looks it looks really really nice. Um, so it's definitely worth it's definitely worth that money. So that's that. 
Then I had a tracking done this morning, and that was £35. Um, so, yep, that is it. That is everything that I've spent on the car, um, plus the 18 hours in labour. Um, probably it's more like 15, to be honest with you, but I put 18 anyway. Um, so that subtotal is £2,260.60p. Um, and I'm, I, I've been looking around to see what they're worth. Being that it's an auto um, it's and it's a diesel, it's probably worth a little bit more money than a petrol. Not too much, but a little bit. A um, bit more desirable and that sort of stuff. So it could be, it could be, um, it could be a good sell. But I'm going to probably put it up for two nine nine five. Um, I don't. I've not done these cars before, Holland eyes. I don't really know where my market is. A lot of people are going to say, "I will just go to you buy any you buy any car dot com, uh, put the registration in, and it will tell you what the car's worth there." Well. It don't really, does it? It gives you a, gives you a, a rough idea, but you got you, that. Don't, they don't take into consideration um, the condition of it. The, 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 I know they ask loads of questions, but they don't. They ain't seen the car. Um, they don't take into consideration the area. You get you get in different areas. Um, you, you sell a car quicker, um, depend on what car it is and stuff like that. So all those things can, can, can come into it. So I don't really use that. You, you we buy any car dot com. Um, for, for pricing, not really. No, I'll just basically look on eBay, look at Auto Trader, find out what it's worth, what they're selling for, the exact same car, um, mileage, the year, the condition, uh, and that sort of stuff. And I basically take like 25, 30% off that price, uh, and then that's what I roughly base it on. So these, these this car, this particular car, um, like I said, age, mileage, condition, they're selling for about three, three and a half. Um, that's what they're selling for. So, two nine nine five is a little bit punchy to be honest with you, but you've got to start a little bit higher for them to come down and go. Um, well, if you take two six two seven, uh, then then you know it's, it's worth it. So, but if I sell it for two nine nine five, um, the profit in it is seven hundred and thirty four pound forty. But don't forget, I've got to, you've got to take off the 18 hours labour off of that profit. So it's not potentially profit because you need to take that labour cost hour off of that money. Do you see what I'm saying? So that's why I don't like, not, that's just why I don't like normally doing figures because everyone's got their own opinion on how much a labour rate is per hour, per day, um, how much effort you put into it. My work ethic is like completely it's a lot higher than most, to be honest with you. I know that. I've always known that. But, um, yeah, it's just one of them things. But who knows? Uh, but once I do sell it, guys, I will let you know what this sells for. But I'm going to start at 2995 Um Let me know what you think about that. Drop me a comment. Um, and, yeah, we'll go from there. But um, that is going to be the end of today's video, guys. Um, I really do uh, hope you appreciate and hope you uh, enjoy what I'm doing. Uh, like I said, the figures is a little bit different for me. Um, I don't normally do it. You know that. Um, but if it's something you want to see going forward, then maybe I can tell you. Um, I won't be telling you on the Transit Connect because that's not my vehicle. Um, I'm, I'm in no position and I don't want to sort of do it, even if... The, the owner, Mark, even if he does say to me, oh, you can tell him what you pay, I paid for it, you can tell him what, I don't think I want to, I'm not going to do it. So, um, but going forward, guys, maybe I can sort of, um, yeah, maybe I can sort of give you a little bit of insight in, in, in the figures, in the, in, the, in the money side of it, and what I'm actually making uh, doing it. Because I think a lot of you are interested to see whether or not this is actually paying off. Like, I haven't been, I've been in, in this lockup now, for about a year, um, and I'm still here. So it, it does. It, it it costs money to to do this. So if I wasn't making any money profit wise or anything like that, I wouldn't be here, would I? I wouldn't be still doing it. I'd be long gone. Uh, so something is working. Um, so yeah, 
that's enough waffling guys that's enough waffling um i really appreciate the support don't forget to give the video a thumbs up that will really help it's still really hot in here hopefully it'll cool down soon uh, <laughs> but anyway that's it guys um really appreciate it um and i'll see you guys on the next one